excited for fans to get to see this giant four-hour movie that's completely singular to their investment. If you followed the first two movies, this movie really kind of takes you into a completely immersive scope and scale. The fan community has sort of risen up demanding this version. Well, because of the promise I've made them over the course of the two other movies, it has created this movement that said, we need to know how it ends. Because this will be, once you do this, you do I beam them, you're going to have your run in with uh, Cyborg where you. Zach, he's got such an incredible brain for the visual. He has everything planned out in his head before we get there. It's remarkable to be a part of. Everything that we work in, we're stepping into his drawings. So you're like, can I see this scene before we make it? And he has beautiful drawings. You know, they're, they're very good about making sure that we get exactly what it is that they've envisioned, you know? So, you know, the way they set up all these shots, it's, it's so specific and, and yeah. so well thought out. All I have to do is just step in and breathe and be. I like Zach and he's got a lot of enthusiasm and he's got this boyish kind of energy where he's just psyched to be at work every day. And I think you need that to get through a Herculean effort like these movies. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's go. I'm on set and we're shooting. It's a fun atmosphere for me. I mean, I don't want to say it's a playground, but it is a bit. Ah! It was just so nice and there was never a dull moment on set. We we're always talking or making each other laugh. It was just awesome. I want to be like Zack Snyder. There's a lot of beautiful traits that I will take on more than anyone I've ever worked with. Wet hug. <laughs> Don't tell him that. But he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> you know, just over the course of making these sort of epic movies, you know, you get closer with the actors. I do count them all as friends. And I think with all of these guys, it sort of cast them in their alter ego first and model that to who they are as people. That allows the character, because it's grounded, it allows you to accept the superhero version in a much easier way. Ready and action! In this movie, in Justice League, because there's no time restraint on the film, it does give us an opportunity to really see everyone fulfill their arc within the context of the movie. The emotional journey is there. <laughs> it's been really fun to put the original Steppenwolf back in the movie. You know, he's quite a realized character. You know, he has struggles, he has history. We understand his relationship to Darkseid and to Saad, and you get it why he's doing what he's doing. He will see my worth again. And then being able to shoot an additional scene for Justice League, and it was fun to do, and it's fun to get Ben back in the cowl. He looks as good as ever in that cowl. It was like, we never stopped. You still think it was a good idea bringing him along? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> In any endeavor, to be supported is an incredible thing, you know, and especially supported by this incredible fan base. They've really taken the movie to heart, and so there is something really satisfying and fun for me, bringing these amazing fans a movie that they wanted to see. There's an attack coming. It's already here. This really blows out to a much larger mythological version of the movie. These epic set pieces, one after another. 
I'm putting together a team, people with special abilities. It's a really epic gods fighting gods scale. So that's what I'm excited for fans to get to see. I will stumble. I will fall.